here's something surprising. The Everglades is not a swamp. Well, not entirely. There are a few swampy areas, but it's actually a very slow moving river, 60 miles wide and 100 miles long, sometimes called a river of grass, and is part of a water system that flows from right here at Lake Okeechobee in central Florida out to the Gulf of Mexico. The name Okeechobee comes from the native Hichiti for big water, which feels appropriate since I can't even see the opposite shore from here. The lake covers over 700 square miles, but has an average depth of only nine feet and serves as a reservoir that collects and stores water from the northern part of Florida during the wet season, which lasts from May to November. And during the dry season, it discharges to the southern part of the state, providing vital water to the wetlands, as well as drinking water for southern Florida. As water flows to the Everglades, it soaks into the limestone underground and gets stored in aquifers, an important source of fresh water for many communities. Much of the lake is actually hidden from its surroundings by the 143 mile long Herbert Hoover Dyke that was constructed in the 1930s after flooding caused by two hurricanes resulted in over 2,000 deaths. A system of canals and levees built into the dike allows the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to control the discharge of water from the lake. And since then, the surrounding area has developed into dairy and vegetable farms and cattle ranches and is home to numerous wildlife. Over the last two decades, the dike has undergone a $1.5 billion rehabilitation, helping to ensure it will continue to support the vital ecosystem of the river known as the Everglades, which contains some of the highest concentration of species in the U.S. that are vulnerable to extinction, including the American crocodile, West Indian manatee, wood stork, Florida panther, leafling butterfly, and many others. It's also home to at least 43 different species of mosquitoes, so I guess you have to take the good with the bad. So the next time you see a picture of the Everglades, remember that it's not actually a swamp or even standing water at all, but a very wide, shallow, slow-moving river proceeding inevitably out to the ocean. And all that water at one point sat right here in the giant lake hidden in the middle of central Florida known as Okeechobee.